This is a Chord FM4 stereo tuner, um, the earlier type with the DIN uh, connector on the back and the 100 kilo ohms um, impedance matching. This tuner has a uh, reputation of having slightly, um, slight lack of bass frequency response. And um, just see if I can prove that now to you. Um, what I'm doing is I'm the Marconi signal generator up here is transmitting a 99 megahertz uh, carrier, and I'm modulating the carrier with a approximately 40 hertz um, FM signal into the uh, front end of the uh, quad FM4. So basically it's a modulated 400 hertz, um, 40 hertz signal. Um, the level AC meter here is showing the audio output of the, uh, the tuner itself um, and it will give you an idea of um, if we get any improvement with uh, altering the value of the uh, series capacitance of the uh, audio stage there's a I think is a 220 nan but it might actually be a one 122 nan uh, capacitor in series with the audio output I've got a couple of uh, ceramic 0.1 micro capacitors so I'm going to just shunt across the uh, appropriate channel to see if we get an improvement in frequency response what, I, what I'll do is I'll start at 60 Hertz okay that's 60 Hertz and get the scale down to a fairly mid-range sort of area. What I'm going to do is sweep the frequency. Come out to frequency is 80 hertz. And as uh, you see the frequency response is staying fairly flat. I'm afraid it's all I can do really with without the use of a um, spectrum analyzer. 60 hertz. You won't be able to hear this probably on the phone now. 50, 40. You see the signal starting just starting to fall off. Um, so what I'm going to do is hold it at 40 hertz. Now, the two decoupling, the two capacitors that are in series is this C50 here and C51. Uh, I'm going to strap, just hold the capacitor across C50 and C51. I'm not sure which channel's which, um, but the uh, mini voltmeter is actually measuring, I think, the right channel. So I'm going to go across C51 now and see if that makes any difference. No, no change. Try C50. Okay, there's a slight right increase in signal there. Do you see that? Yeah, slight increase there. So what I'll do is I'll drop it down to... And I'm increasing the modulation into the signal generator so we get a... Yeah, it's overloading, there's a bit of distortion there, but... There we go. That's, we're now at approximately 28 hertz. I'm going to strap across C50 again. Okay, that's come up. I can. It actually sounds more than it does on the meter. So. Okay, so that's a point one. So I'm wondering if um, it's worth tacking that in and doing a sweep. And this might be interesting. Just as I was soldering the um, soldering the connection for the soldering iron, the, the tune is turned off, but obviously the amplifier is still connected. If I go to one side of the capacitor, I don't know if you can hear the difference here, but it's a marked in difference in sound quality. This is through the capacitor. You hear the buzz, and this is bypassing the capacitor. Bass response is hugely improved. So I'm going to. Uh, Sort of the captain and see what happens. Okay, so I've tacked the two point ones across the audio, um, and then we'll try it again and see what it's like. So let's turn the tuner on. Okay, the signal's definitely come up. So let's try it down to. Okay, we're down to nearly twenty hertz now. So let's go back up. I can't guarantee the frequency how uh, flat the uh, output of the signal the AF signal generator is, but um 
it suddenly sounds like there's more oomph below a low frequency so actually what I might just do just out of interest is there any actual because there's no DC on the output I might actually try bypassing the capacitors temporarily not a good idea um, to do it permanently because on switch on you can get a DC on the um, output as all the caps charge up and it will actually trip the protection circuitry of a modern amplifier um, let's just have a look to see if we've got any voltage so it doesn't seem to be much there oh no hold on we have got a have got a DC output on there there's an offset of two volts so we can't bypass the decoupling capacitors as DC post the capacitor um, but um, that's an improvement um, probably one that's worthwhile doing um, if you've got an FM4 and you're using it on a, a maybe a modern tr amplifier with a 47k input resistance it's probably worth changing these two capacitors or certainly strapping across the back um, I think you could probably go up to something like a one microfarad I might try on one microfarad actually quickly um, and just see if you get any problem with DC offset you'll usually know if you turn the tuner off and then repower it again if the amplifier doesn't trip out on uh, on, on offset uh, you're probably okay so let's try that quickly um, I, I don't like serious um, decoupling capacitors anyway um, or coupling capacitors because they uh, you know they introduce phase uh, lag and um, and they do affect the low end frequency response so I'm going to quickly try that now and actually make a note of that that's five and a half on the uh, top scale so we'll see if uh, putting a one microfarad across improves anything so let's have a look at that okay that's with the one microfarad capacitor on and the gain has definitely gone up um, and the audio is better so I think a one microfarad capacitor in series will be absolutely fine um, we'll try it on the on the tuner normally basically sounds good in the curds in the north so yeah a worthwhile um worthwhile modification a one mic for a capacitor to shunt across c50 and c51 um we find that interesting lovely tuner um thanks for watching